We're back. Nigeria has recorded seven deaths from 18 cases of the Ebola virus, with about 296 people under surveillance. Mm. It is very disturbing to note that the scale of panic and paranoia associated with the virus has paralyzed the ability of health workers to carry out their duties and provide, provide life-saving health services. What more measures can we do to control this Ebola scare in the country? Now, we are from, as a, the reports we've gotten from the federal government, they, are sub, they have somewhat contained this to a level. However, the people are being affected because you go to the health facilities and you're complaining of malaria and nobody wants to touch you. Or we see cases just like in Yenogua, where somebody comes in and either vomiting or displaying symptoms and the nurses flee. So you know what, I'm not going to touch you. And somebody ended up dying. I think somebody, one of the reports we got, yes. the person actually died mm -hmm. because of negligence. Nobody when, when, when the British ambas um, ambassador, the deputy high commissioner <laughs> entered and he, he fainted, he was holding his chest. Uh -huh. he, didn't get yes. he didn't get proper response, right? See, he fainted. Mm. Everybody said, Ah, Ebola. That's an Nigerian thing. As much as I, 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 what she said, um, um, we are not, we've not contained it. I, I beg to differ because we've done fantastic yeah. in some states. Considering in some states, don't say that. Even in, I, I watched this report. Um, is um, press conference yesterday. That's the minister the, of the health. Minister of health press mm. conference yesterday. They've done a fantastic job considering the, the population of Nigeria and how unprepared we were for this crisis. Mm. Mm. But I don't think that the government has educated all medical workers well enough to ensure that they are doing, they, they know how to respond to this. It is obvious I they don't know how to yes. respond to like it. I think the issue they are we're having, fear. the issue we are having is that they help because almost every illness you have in Nigeria starts Who's with a fever. Temperature? So there's no way you go to the, you go to the, um, you, you go to the hospital and to get cured without temperature. I'm just afraid that if I ever get malaria or something and I go to the hospital, they will oh, say, no, 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 no. because nobody's going to want to so treat you. So the cure to this is to educate the health workers. Let All me hear from Nima. Nima is just shaking her head. I'm shaking her um, head. I, 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 I want to disagree. Oh, yeah. What is it? On, on Saturday at a party, I met a doctor, one of our fans, who talked about how they now treat these Ebola patients. In fact, he gave me two instances of he himself have, uh, leaving a patient. And then another doctor who had a baby, when they brought a patient to the hospital, they took her temperature, was above normal, they just left her. Everybody left her. Now the reality is this, they, ca they would leave her because they cannot take Ebola back home to their loved ones. This is it. This, that is the reality. I asked several questions that this PPE personal, whatever, do you have access to it? He said, no. These are things that we have an epidemic. Isn't it available in the market and they go and buy it? Must the federal government provide this for yes, them? Yes, so. No, 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 no. I, I disagree. Why can't they go and buy it in the market? Provide it for these general hospitals and the, the government. Then you can't private hospitals. If you, you have hospitals, a private hospital, then you close it down. A patient until what, what are you saying? Yeah. Is that, wait. Test, testing kits should be made available. Generally, everybody should even have access they to this. They should not buy it in the market, market Nima. Nima. This is it. Nima. No, Nima. this is my point. If you, want to, if you sincerely want yes. to contain this yes. as a government, yes. you sincerely want to contain yes. it, okay. you will need no cost. No cost at all should it's be... Too the, to, to, it's too much to contain That's it. We right. can spend billions okay. having a comfort for, for, a, for a constitution that we might not... We are still not even open... Adopted. Get, get it, getting amended. Mm. Uh, we should be able to provide PPEs, gotcha. testing kits. It should point be generally second. provided. Let me hear yes, YK. They, you can provide it. You can make it available. But if you own a private hospital, it is your duty because you are the one making. Government is not making money from you. You are and the one making money from people. So you, uh, this is not. This is not an epidemic yet. We are not. Uh, uh, um, uh, I, I, I don't, don't understand. Proportions. This, 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 this is not. This is not. Don't say that word. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, no, I'm saying what I'm, what I'm saying, and I believe in it. Okay. No because I have. What is, an epidemic? Family members. what is an epidemic? This Ebola this is something that is easily, is easily second, spread okay. by merely touching. Now, okay. and as an health worker, you have a, a, a sick person in front of you that has a high temperature, and you have attended to that person, you have picked it up, you take it out. Just because you okay. cannot have, you, all they wear is, they right. just wear gloves. Wait, one second, one second. Nima, one second. Nima, what's your, what's your, what's what I'm hearing around? you say is that People, doctors should provide, should protect themselves, and the government should take responsibility and to provide, protect, make protect it them. Fine, but you it see, in a situation cost. where somebody, you have a child, God forbid, your child is very ill, and you not get to the hospital, and you need urgent medical attention, attention. and the doctor say, ah, we don't have PPE, I can't, please take her to your house, go and give her my, my, my exactly. paradol. Can I say something? No, How no, would you no, feel? no, no can I say, say something? Because we cannot, we cannot blindly support 
ills, wrong things going on. We can't. Medical workers are trained to handle sicknesses and diseases. Whether it is, an, it is contagious or not, most diseases that are contagious, you are supposed to be trained to handle it. It is a course you take while you are going for, through your medical um, studies. Now, when you come across such, you should already have protective measures. <coughs> you should have your gloves, your clothes. What the hospital should do, general and private, provide the medical, people, um, yeah. medical health workers around yeah. you with kits to protect themselves so they can give treatment to people should also be respective of whether they are going to patients or I, not. Can I just protest your point, Tokwe? See, TVC, I, I was passing the clinic, they have a... Sanitizer. A sanitizer. If you come to shine, we serve, we have sanitizer. We are, we are waiting for government to provide sanitizer for us. We have, yeah. Because if you catch it, if you catch it, it's the government that will come and help It's true now. What are you, you saying? Can, you can control, you can yourself. control the kind of people. Me. Now. No, do you know, wait, 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 wait. Let me explain. Wait, 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 wait. I will let you explain. Okay. But do you understand why his point? Very well. Okay. Very well. That's right. why I want to answer. Okay. Now, people that will come to shine are and practically healthy people, you know, mm -hmm. they want to catch food. You don't know that. A very sick person. You don't know that. A very sick person okay. is the person whose Ebola is, you know, now volatile to any other person. You, you know, you must ordinarily be sick mm -hmm. already. And you know, your Ebola would have manifested to some extent. Mm -hmm. The first place of contact is the hospital. Nima. Let when the first place of contact, contact is the hospital. Okay, we'll come back to Nima. Let's go to, to Bosse. Me. Good morning, Bosse. Good morning. Uh, how are you? Caller. Hey. Welcome to the show. <laughs> go ahead. I mean, I've always tried to call you, but it's not always going through. You always have Yakub, Yakub, Yakub. <laughs> oh, I know, I'm telling you, I don't know how Yakub, God knows what God that guy uses. <laughs> go ahead. Okay, my contribution about this glove thingy. Um, I think it's even worse for, because I don't believe that the doctors replace the glove they wear to treat patients. Do you understand? Mm. Like, if you touch an Ebola patient, do you change it immediately to touch before you touch another patient? Mm -hmm. Is that not how it they're gets transferred? Mm. They're supposed to throw it away. True. They're supposed to throw them away. Because away. Yeah. I was watching a clip on CBC. There was a, an interview or something on, on site, and there was a health worker. He was scratching his face with his glove. Imagine. He oh. was touching his he face. Has and then I'm sure he was going to touch somebody else there. I'm like, is this guy in you know, a way of what he's doing? You're right. Thank you very Thank much, you. Bosse. Exactly. Talk that is where, what Nima should be saying. Nima should be saying the government should be educating them. Yeah. The go, the educating the, them. That is why the government has responsibility. The job of the government is to put structures <clears throat> in place. Thank that you. That is the job of the government. Mm. So what, what I feel we should hold the government liable for is that how many seminars has the government organized over the course of this Ebola mm. entry into the country to educate all medical workers. workers. And I'm saying not just doctors, not just nurses, even assistants in the hospital, every single one of them should be educated to know how to address okay. it. If a patient comes to the hospital seriously burning hurts and is vomiting, the first thing not to do, not, you don't just stay from the person and let the person die on the floor, even if it might be malaria or Lassa fever, you should protect yourself and take care of that person to ensure that person, you don't lose that life. It all might right. not be Ebola. All right, let me take a care of this call. Good morning, Coyote. Hello, it's Henry. I, oh, Henry, go ahead. Sorry about that. Go ahead. I'm calling you from Ebola. From uh, Okay. Ebe, Ebe, Koto Ebe. Go ahead, go ahead, Koto. Yeah, what I'm going to say is that uh, most of the time, we, we guys, I know you agree with you, John, but if you don't just come in the air and start all these things, they said that going on. Like uh, my sister is saying that the whole system are supposed to provide necessary uh, equipment, at least to save themselves from passing the Ebola in the world. Private hospitals cannot use the federal government because some, some private hospitals are not even registered. They are oh, not even you. Know them because they are located in places where it is. So how would the federal government start, uh, start treating those uh, uh, health okay. So that's the best thing. All right, thank, thank you. you. I think you, you what what I, some okay. Well, I mean, I think what I have an idea was, for, see, I, need to, I don't want um, um, Nima to be alone on this argument because I have an idea what she's talking about. What she just said that for, for governments that, are, that take their citizens very, very seriously, mm -hmm. if they can allocate billions of dollars to XYZ projects, if this is so important to the Nigerian government, they should somehow at least subsidize or get something where these materials are being thrown out. So I think I understand what she's But I also, also agree that the private hospitals should take responsibility also and get some of this equipment and protect their staff. And not say because you are sick now, you know, enter. You are waiting for federal government, so all your staff should catch. Uh, it is a private business and it should take responsibility for its cost and uh, its uh, staff. 
he can turn out, turn out any patient. You can't blame him for that. Because he has, he has to bear the cost. I think right I have now, this call. is... Uh, this, uh, so <coughs> <laughs> Good morning, Nimota. Are you there? Yes, I am. Go um, ahead. Thank yeah. Uh, first thing, please, I want to add my answer to Good morning. Good morning. Then, uh, the thing is, the glove or no glove, God help us. Mm. Amen. Everybody, some person, somewhere, is using this as a means of Everything. livelihood. Because we, we are all trying our best to not to be infected. But I think that some people, I was somewhere like last week, and they suspected a patient with it. But they were claiming not to have the equipment, and government is saying they gave them. Mm. So... Okay. I don't know. I don't know how we All can right. help ourselves. Thank you so much. Um, you have some, some, can yes. I say something? I, I don't know. I don't know of, but if any medical personnel knows, they could tweet at us to let us know if they've been trained by any government facility. Mm. Because all these things were saying that these people are they, are, they are, they are ignorant of how to help themselves. So they are just running away from the crisis. Now, instead of just castigating the government, let's advise on what to do. Train these people. Yeah. Like, like Nima said, get the facilities, the, the products they need. Oh, they need to have gloves. They need to have all those protective equipment. Let it be within reach for them. I like to believe the government have done what you just said because I, I that, that's like so that is not the reality. fundamental. I yeah? talked with the doctor on Saturday. Mm -hmm. The reality is that they don't have access to this, and he's working for a, for a hospital that cannot afford to provide it. What is he? What, we what have, is he we have a serious for? situation on ground. Private hospitals. You see, these hospitals are getting too many mushroom hospitals. I, have, I even know a doctor who was trained as who trained at the IDH infectious disease hospitals. We have infectious disease hospitals, disease hospitals who cannot that cannot even cater for this. Mm. They cannot. Okay. Well, she tells so the government. When, when, when you talk about yeah. infectious disease hospitals, those are government. I, 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 they are yeah, not willing to draw the line. Anyways, I'm not willing to draw the line. We, 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 on that note, we need to move that, on. You open okay, one more yeah, hospital. Let me take my final call this morning. Caleb, I believe. Good morning. Are you there? Yes. Good morning. Thanks for calling. Go ahead. I'm calling from Maryland. Hi. Go ahead. Um, I'm the I'm the first caller. Yay! Welcome to the show. My own contribution is this. I'm in support of uh, what uh, this uh, Ms. Lima, uh, Ms. Lima uh, is talking about. Uh, in my own opinion, federal government has the responsibility of securing the life of uh, every citizen in Nigeria. Okay. Uh, if it is to say that uh, uh, each hospital doctor should provide for what they need, I think the cost, the charges that go to the, they are going to be charging the, the each. Uh, patients will be so high. So there should be subsidy. Government should subsidize this. Okay. Government should all be right. able to provide all these uh, necessary keys so that right. the doctor can easily attend to any patient that is sick okay. and they will not be running I, away from them. Thank so you very much. I, I am in support that have, government has responsibility. What of all those mushroom hospitals all right. they can they, that they, are not even registered let's, with anybody? Let's take some tweets and we can close. Okay, allow the James Jumoke says. PPE should be provided for everyone. If a patient has high fever, then the doctor will attend to everyone after attending to him. Then um, Mark John Adebola says, please, what is government doing for the safety of children now that they re they've released resumption dates? I doubt if they are truly training teachers. Mm, that's another issue. All right. Yes, We're going to take a, a quick issue. break. Yes, yeah, serious issue. We've talked about, about. Yeah. Mm. All right. Um, fruits and essential are essential for healthy living. How do we incorporate them into our daily eating? Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 